Valley, Northampton Saints this weekend, familiar surroundings for you? Yeah, it'd be good going back, uh, got a few family and stuff down there, so um, no, it'd be exciting, it's a great challenge, uh, obviously a top uh, top team, not only in the Premiership, but obviously in Europe, and that's where we need to be testing ourselves, and, uh, and that will give us a good gauge to um, how good a side we are. You go into it on the back of a fantastic performance here a week ago against uh, Sale Sharks. Yeah, we got off to a, a real good start. Uh, Pre-season, we've worked really hard. The guys have, have put a hell of a lot in. Um, the conditioning staff have got us up and running, and the guys are looking as sharp as they ever have been. So uh, that's fantastic for us as, as rugby coaches. And as I say, they took it to the field. And, and really, we just concentrated on us and how, how good we could be. Um, and, and as I say, the guys put, put a performance in that, that they can be proud of. During pre-season, you've done a huge amount of work on new attacks and that, and you were pretty pleased there when you saw some of the tries go in at the weekend. Yeah, we, we've tried to simplify things so um, um, and give a balance to our attack, and we're always looking for for, for space and, and options within our attacks. You know, some of them came off. Um, and it's a case of just keeping developing the players, developing their understanding and their decision making, and, and that's come come on really well. And, and we're starting to threaten sides um, in in the wide spaces. So um, we're happy with the way it went, but equally there's there's still we we missed a, a couple, certainly a couple of golden chances, and we've, we've got to be really clinical if we want to get anything out of the game this weekend. As you well know better than anyone, Franklin's Garden is a real tough place to go, and it's not been a happy hunting ground for the Chiefs so far. No, it hasn't. We've been a bit disappointed in our performances there in the past. And you've got to credit Northampton. They've come up with some great performances at home. And uh, like you say, they're, they're tough. It's a tough place to go. But that, that's great. All the better for us. We've got, we've got to challenge ourselves at the hardest places if we want to improve. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to the weekend and, and seeing what we can get out of the game. You've had to tweak a little bit in the back division, but uh, the competition for places there is red hot at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, just we're just trained out there, and the guys are on top form. Um, there's pressure in every position. Um, that's why you get a performance like that, because uh, there's guys behind pushing really hard. So that that's important. You know, it's important performances from the A, a League and getting a win in that was was vital as well. Um, but like you say, the, the, there is pressure on in all positions. A couple of tweaks, but um, but generally we're, we're, we're pretty pretty good. Another pressure comes next week with Dean Mum arriving. How, how excited are you as coaching staff to see him come? Yeah, we, obviously it'd be great. It's been a long time coming and finally getting him over here will be, will be great. Equally, he's going to have to fight for a space and, and there's quality already here. So it just adds to our depth, which, which we see as a massive uh, positive for the club and, and also for the players themselves. It, there's nothing better than um, competition for, for striving uh, for driving driving you on as a player so um, hopefully we'll get either increased levels of performance or you know if he comes in on top and he's the best lock then great but equally if uh, if, if the guys are performing on top of him uh, then they'll get the shirt so it's a, it's a big challenge for um, the whole squad but it's an exciting one bringing in that cap quality of player um, is, is great into the squad. Almost having Josh Chatupu has been like having a new signing again isn't it? He's come back really sharp after his injury last season. Yeah, I mean the guys, the physios have worked extremely hard getting him back as quickly as possible. He, he was able to uh, pre, have a good pre-season which, which was important and introducing a player back from injury is a lot easier at the start of the season rather than midway through. So um, all from that from that perspective that's great he's come in he's been pacey uh, he's got obviously quality skills and, and footwork and he, obviously as you saw in that first try so um, he's an important pass to the squad but as are uh, all the guys here looking at the, the future as well you've got a tough run of fixtures coming up and that but you probably won't look no further than Saints at the moment will you? No, no, no um, you know we, we're fully aware of how big a challenge this is this weekend it's, it's got all our attention and hopefully we can um, we can put in a level of performance that, that, that challenges them and puts them under pressure and we'll see what we get out of the game Their set piece is notoriously strong is that an area where you've got to try and combat them? Well definitely you know they, they've obviously done it through for years now they've done been dominant up front. It's an important area, but across the board they've got physical guys um, in every area. So we need to be right on top of our game um, to to obviously you know control them, but equally to to impose our game on them. But we don't want to concentrate too much on them. We've got to bring our game 
to the table um, and see what pressure we can apply to them. I've said it to the guys, there's, after what you've done over the first two seasons in the Premiership, do you feel there's a greater expectancy on you now as a club? Yeah, but that's what we want. Ultimately, you want the most expectation. Who has the most expectation? Leicester, because they've been the most uh, successful. So uh, the more expectation we want, uh, you know, we want to get over the years. Um, obviously, that's not going to happen over overnight. But we've got to put in performances um, to gain to gain that, uh, and to be fighting at the right end of the table is obviously where where we want to be, um, and, that, and that's the challenge for for all of us. But um, uh, you know, we've got to enjoy that expectancy, um, which is a you know, which is a great thing because it means you've been performing well. Brilliant. Thanks, Ali. Thanks. Sir.